Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't know it was good, my nephews and nieces. This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. Right now, listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, right? That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you appreciate that 9 a.m. and that 4 p.m. upload every single day. You can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing. All right, now let's get straight into this video. So today we're going to talk about the rebounding guard. Um, this was a very popular build back in 2K19. Shout out to my boy Flo Jerk. Um, this was his first build he made. It was a rebounding guard. And of course, you know, as most content creators, when you find a unique guard name, build, or whatever, a lot of the community is going to run behind it. And that's where it basically took off, man. Rebounding guard and rebounding wings really took off um, once he made that build. And we're going to try to bring it back to light. I will say this, that obviously now that this is a next-gen build, the build is going to be pretty pretty dang on good, all right? Like, this, basically, it does everything, all right? So let's just go ahead and get right into it. You want to go 6-7 with this build. I decided to go 207, and I maxed out the wingspan. Body type does not matter at all, all right? Um, then what you want to do here in your driving layup, you do want to go to 93, okay? You can't go any higher, and you can't go higher than 94, so you have to go here. Then you want to max out the post control for 15 um, finishing batch points, okay? Then this is what's really crazy. You can go 82 on both the mid-range and three-point shot. And then we're going to go 85 to get exactly 12 shooting batch points. And then we're going to go 78 on the pass accuracy, 79 on the ball handle. And then we're going to max out that speed with ball for 11 playmaking. Then we're going to skip interior defense. We're going to go 92 on the perimeter. We're going to skip the steal. We're going to max out that block. We're going to max out the defensive rebound. And then we're going to go to 85 on the offensive rebound for a total of 22. Then we're going to max out the speed, the acceleration, the strength, and the vert. And then we're going to, of course, have 60 stamina. So what you're looking at is 15, 12, 11, 22. Obviously, looking at this build, you can tell that it's going to be extremely toxic build. I mean... It can dribble. It's going to be able to speed boost and dribble. It's going to be able to finish with all contact dunks. It's going to be able to have a pure green window. And, of course, it's going to have 22 defensive badges. So, I mean, it is a really, 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 really good build, obviously. And that's kind of what it is on all builds for next gen, which, again, is such a great premise. But the problem is the power forward position is broken. So we talk about that a lot. The reason why there's not a lot of diversity in next gen is because people, why would you make like any other build other than the power forward um offensive threat and score machine because you get like 80 90 badges which again just kills the game but i'm pretty sure for 22 they might they'll keep this build system pretty similar and then we'll be able to grow off that and of course that's when things will get really toxic because you can be able to make almost any build and have fun with it right <coughs> so you will get a plus four to everything here so you're looking at a 97 driving layup and a 98 driving dunk with an 84 post control, which I think it might give you post takeover. I don't know. That might be crazy. Now you get an 86 mid-range and three-point shot. Now, again, the 86 is really important. But really, it's 85. So once you hit 98 overall, you have an 85 three-ball and mid-range shot. And, of course, 85 is important because that allows you to have that true green window where um, if you have the proper base, every single time you release your shot properly, you will get a green. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, you have an 89 free throw, which will make you really good in the rec or in Pro-Am. 82 pass accuracy, 83 ball handle, so you'll be able to get all the Pro Dribble animations. Also, you'll have an 89 speed with ball, a whopping 96 perimeter defense. Interior defense is still I did skip. Now, there is a different version you can make, and I probably will come back and revisit that, where you can make most of these builds and have all the you know, different interior and still. But as we know right now, they get the most badge points. Um, you do want to skip still and interior and just max out everything else. You have a 97 block, 89 offensive rebound, and a 99 defensive rebound with 88 speed, 85 acceleration, 74 strength, a ridiculous 96 vert, and 64 stamina. Again, you don't need anything higher than 60 stamina. If you do not believe me, then you should watch my The Power of 
60 stamina video, all right? So let's get over here. Let me see, do we get post control? Oh, you don't, okay, cool. So you have glass, lock, spot up, and slashing. There's so many different ways you can go about this. I mean, you can obviously go perimeter badge drop and you can go extreme clamps. Um, you know, that's a really good takeover combination. Or you can go um, extreme clamps, spot up, or limitless range. Or you can go easy blow bys and limitless range. That's like that to me. That's like the most deadly combination. I would say that you do that most, or if you're gonna be the primary ball handler, um, if you're gonna be the primary defender, then you probably wanna have a lock in it. So um, and even right here, enhanced jump shot contest. That's a good one too. Um, you can either you can go something like extreme clamps and enhanced jump shot contest. I mean, there's different options, so it's whatever you're comfortable with. But there you have my nephews and nieces. You have their rebounding guard. All right. So now what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go ahead and test this build out real quick. We're gonna get to 99, and then of course we will get you out of here. So let's go here. Um, of course, the most important ones, you wanna go posterizer, you want acrobat, fearless finisher, and slithery. So we have two left over. Um, I wanna get putback balls. I like putback balls just because I, I wanna get the dunk animation. And then probably after that, fearless finisher might be the best. That's for layups. All right, so we'll do that. Um, jump shotting, of course, catch and shoot, deep threes, hot zone hunter. <coughs> Excuse me. As you know, I'm recovering from a cold. I've been sick for about five days. Um, blinders has been nerfed, but um, it's still a viable badge. Um, you can go here if you're going to be a spot up. If you're going to be the primary ball handler, just take away catch and shoot and go rhythm shooter or stop and pop, just depending on your play style, okay? Um, here, of course, we want to go handles for day. Now, this, this if you're going to be the primary ball handler. You want to go something like this. Um, yeah, and of course, I would love to have bullet pass or higher, but we'll have to go something like this. If you're not going to be the primary ball handler and you're going to be a spot up, then I'll take away handles for days um, and unpluckable. I'll max out my bullet passer and then probably go dimer and then go bell out because you're not going to like you this right here. You're just going to be spotting. So, you know, getting the ball, passing it back out, that type of stuff is really great. And then here, of course, you want to go clamps, intimidator, rim protector. If you have not watched my lockdown, I mean, the badge video, the best badges, this is what you want to go with. Um, if you're going to be in here, if you're going to be the primary ball handler, I mean, I'm defender, on ball defender, then you definitely want to go pick dodger, um, chase down, and we get pogo stick on silver and then ankle braces. Okay, so this is what you want to go with. Um, there is, <clears throat> excuse me. You could go, um, remember, you don't have Interceptor because of obviously you don't, your still's not there and that's another one, but to me, you're good enough just like this, like you'll still be able to cause a lot of havoc, all right? Um, but there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the Rebounding Guard build. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say I'm back soon with the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. If he caught for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop off the top of no transformer. Man, we're ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a beat like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go help